What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel today. We're gonna be getting crazy I want to get that Tahoe torn apart as you can see we got more blasting media in the rear over here We got a, a sandblaster in the front. Um, it's raining. I didn't want any of it to get wet That's why it's not in the bed. So we got so we got a we got a blaster for any parts We need blasted also for Katie's truck her frame um, blasting media all of that, I do want to get the Tahoe torn apart if the weather breaks so I can start painting all the factory parts. Bought a bunch of hooks and stuff at Home Depot, got all the lumber underneath the deck. We're going to build some racks, we're going to get everything going so I can paint track bars, I can paint diff covers, I can paint whatever I need, hang it up, especially when the lift kit comes in. Woo! Also, we got a new compressor, I got a lot of fittings for that, we got to set that up from Eastwood Scroll Compressor, the thing is super nice. Still don't have 220 in the garage. So we're gonna run it off the dryer as usual. But wow guys, it's been a crazy couple days since the last video. We're going like full crunch mode here, especially if the lift actually shows up Thursday and worse, like if it's even worse, the lift shows up Friday. <laughs> That does not make it any easier on us. All right, guys, so we're back home now. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Don't worry, there's a lot of trash and stuff going out. But I'm going to show you all of the new additions to the garage. We have the Eastwood Elite QST 3060 scroll compressor. Um, it comes unplugged. So what we're going to do is I got a plug at Home Depot today. So we're going to put this plug on, get this all wired up, get it running. We got a sandblaster. It's a 30 gallon compressor, but it operates like it's a 60 gallon. So this is a huge, huge addition to our shop here. And when we actually get our shop built, it'll be able to ha like it'll be able to uh, really, really do us well. We actually picked this up at Tractor Supply. The Eastwood blasters were sold out, out of stock till mid-September. So we had no option. We got this at Tractor Supply, the little job smart thing. At Home Depot, we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Got the plug, a bunch of these hooks, big and small. I'm gonna build some racks in here with some two by fours so we can hang all of our suspension parts. It honestly was like $20 in hooks. I have like over 30 hooks, so we should be sufficient to hang all the parts we need. I got a half inch airline, give us some more flow and uh, do all that hook up to the new compressor. I've got moving blankets here from a Harbor Freight as well. Uh, I've got a sifter from Eastwood. But yeah, I got another moving blanket. A lot of you love how these upper control arms turned out, and to be honest, me too. Oh my gosh, and look at that. It matches the paint just, just perfectly. So this is gonna be absolutely, absolutely amazing underneath um, underneath our Tahoe, so when we get the rest of it done, oh, it's gonna be awesome. If some of you missed why are these red and you watched yet last video, you didn't watch long enough, because at the end of the video, I painted those, and uh, that's what we're gonna be doing with our lift kit. Yes, we'll be painting our lift kit, not powder coating, because nobody can get me in to powder coat anything, which sucks. So when we do have a shop, I will be buying a giant powder coating oven to do all that as well. Other than that, guys, Let's get our compressor wired in, get our blaster taken out, and get today rolling. is done got it all wired up here we got the uh, extension cord over here going all the way around inside if you guys haven't seen it before inside and it plugs into the dryer yes the dryer is like on this side of the wall so it plugs in there because there's no 220 out here let's see if my wiring works oh. That is so quiet. That is honestly so, 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 so quiet. Oh, is that awesome, guys. Wow, no more of that. That's awesome. All right, well, my plug worked. We're plugged in. So, wow, already super impressed with that Eastwood uh, scroll compressor. Yeah. We got all these adapters there too. So I'm just over here kind of assembling everything, converting the um, compressor. We're gonna use 3 8 couplers, not the uh, standard uh, 
like quarter inch or the baby ones, but we're gonna use the big ones. I got the industrial because the automotive ones were just not at tractor supply, all the ones I needed, but I still didn't end up with all of them. So we're gonna have to use the old hose. Your old hose? I have to use my old hose. Hose? Yeah. But we're gonna have to use the old air hose and these couplers today until I can go back and get another uh, like thing and then I could get the uh, the big chucks on here, the big ones. But um, just a little tip because I know when I first did started doing anything with threadings and airlines and all that stuff, um, using the, uh, the the thread tape, I could never figure this out. But um, you're gonna take the thread tape. Thank you. Shout out to Horn Blaster, still using it. But um, the thread tape, the way if you were to screw it in, so you're gonna screw it in obviously right right-handed thread. So you're gonna screw it. You're gonna screw it this way. That's the way you want to wrap it. So the first time you wrap the thread tape, you're going to wrap it as if you screwed it in. It would just peel itself off. So we're going to turn right. So you're going to put the you're going to put the little tassel end of this this way, and then you're going to wrap right. And when you go around once, it'll lay down going this way. So when you screw it in, this will roll with the threads, not go against it. So yeah, just a little tip. Always lay your thread tape the way you're gonna spin, and then it'll lay when you're done perfectly. So guys, it's actually the next day here. We did a lot of tidying up in here because, well, bad news, just what I thought. Every time you get something delivered freight, it never shows up the day it's supposed to. The lift kit is coming tomorrow. However, today we have to do a lot of prep to get us ready to paint that entire lift kit, get it installed, do all the above, get the get the Tahoe aligned. There's a lot to do to get it all done. We were using our new sandblaster yesterday along with our new Eastwood compressor. That compressor is an absolute beast. We were over here, we were testing it out on Katie's frame. It does an absolute, absolutely amazing job um, we started doing this side and then we got to the other side over here I'll tell you why the middle isn't done but we came over to this side started doing this side as well and we really got the axle but the thing is it is so hot and humid today the compressor even with two line dryers um, there's a lot of moisture that got into the blasting tank so we, we got held up held up on that but it just it just takes everything everything off off the frame so what I think I might have to do is get one of them refrigerated airline dryers um, do that we actually got to run to Harbor Freight right now I got to pick up a spring compressor um, we gotta get some paint for Katie's frame and maybe some other things so I can compress the spring, take apart the strut and paint it. Uh, we gotta do that. It's gonna look so good lifted and done. With the lift kit coming tomorrow, I think I'm gonna be able to um, tear this apart today, get some of the factory parts painted and it'll get us ahead. When the lift kit comes tomorrow, we can paint and pretty much just put back on. All right guys, we literally just got back from Harbor Freight and Eastwood, picked up some more uh, line drying stuff. We got some paint for Katie's frame. Two paint gun holders. I want another cheap, cheap gun. Brake bleeding kit. Two magnetic trays. A big magnetic tray and a panel tool, like the uh, plastic panel tools. And we also got a pump, just in case I want to do my rear, um, rear diff cover. But I might just paint that on the vehicle. We got the money maker today, boys. All from Harbor Freight, obviously. But we got our spring compressor so we can get our struts apart and get those painted so yes just got caught in a rainstorm whatever not the point we got all of our wood here we're gonna start building racks for our um because our lift kit's gonna show up tomorrow and we just once it gets here we need to start hanging painting um disassembling doing all that i gotta read the instructions i went to harbor freight and i completely forgot that you know they don't have jack stands right now i couldn't get a second set i wanted to put this up on all four corners take factory parts off the rear, factory parts off the front. Um, I think I'm probably gonna tackle more so the rear parts than the front. I'm gonna read the instructions, see where we're at so I can kind of start on that. I really wanna get a lot of the factory parts painted too, not just the lift kit, um, like the sway bars and such. It'll look so much better. So that's kind of what we're looking at to do. But in the meantime, we're gonna build some racks.
we've made this kind of contraption here. The trucks are running in the background. We just jumped, we just jumped the 6 out, so excuse those. But um, I made this contraption so right here I can hang like the, on the heavy parts. I can hang like the cross member, skid plate cross member. And then over here I could drop, do like the diff drop brackets, sway bars, uh, end link stuff like that. Um, you can even do like the track bar in the rear from the Tahoe. Um, other like sway bar, stuff like that. We can just, you know, use the most area we can. Um, worst comes to worst, I said I got more wood. I can run another beam somewhere and just do it. Also come through here, paint this, paint this. If I need to walk around, you know, come over here, do this outer side, inner side, just kind of walk around and do it like that. I don't know, I just kind of came to my mind. I honestly was gonna do two of the main ones, but instead of building another base, I just kind of added them to the top. So I figure, you know, we'll be pretty good here. Um, what I did now, I went to Home Depot. Got about 10 of these large hooks, and I got about 20 of these little hooks. I feel like these will be good for the little brackets. We're wondering how I'm gonna attack these Rough Country seven and a half inch lifted struts. Our one inch leveling kit showed up today as well. Now that I think about it, my paint should have showed up too. Huh, let me check the front door. That's not good, paint didn't show up. So maybe it'll be here tomorrow. I'm gonna check the tracking on that. It'll, we'll figure that part out. So a lot of you were figuring out how I was gonna attack these struts, but we're gonna use our new spring compressor. We're gonna compress our strut here, take our spring off, and get all of our boots and stuff off of here. Um, we're, unfortunately, but we're gonna have to rip our sticker off here um, just because we can't really paint over it. But yeah, we're gonna have to take our sticker off. And then we're gonna sand this down and what a lot of you said was paint the strut red, leave the spring black, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Truth be told, everyone is scared of these spring compressors here. To be honest, they're not the safest. Um, they're kind of sketchy. I do like the, the like the strut compressor that you actually like mount to the wall. I do love using those. I've actually never used uh, these, but honestly, all you're gonna do here is tighten. Come over here, tighten. Come over here and repeat. What you're really doing with these spring compressors is you're trying to get the load off of here um, and then you could take your strut nut out and you can really disassemble it. But yeah, you're just gonna tighten her down and we can get them off. I guess I should have did that front side up. But for all those who are worried, look at those spring compressors stayed on. <laughs> all right, now we have a fully disassembled seven and a half inch strut. The other one's in the box still. Putting those spring compressors on there was super like tedious and like there was not much room to put them on. So I think I'm just gonna leave them on, paint this, and then do the next one. But um, we're gonna scuff it up and get it painted our red tin coat. And considering we're gonna have all three layers of paint mixed, we're gonna do our bubbles here. I already kind of wet sanded this out. Sand these bubbles off. I'll get some Bondo on here. And then um, we'll get it painted. this 
this honestly is uh yeah we tack those bubbles and look at that the metal is absolutely just perfect condition underneath so if something like that happens to you take care of it as fast as you can now because we went through the paint here we're gonna put a little bit of bondo on here you might you literally do not need almost nothing at all um but we're gonna skim it we'll sand it flat and then uh get it all taped off we'll blend it in get our struts painted oh kind of well i just want to kind of show you same thing on this side guys super nice and we'll be one step closer ready for daytona So all the clear is gone or it's now long, no longer shiny. It's all kind of matte. Um, that's all you really need to do. We're gonna go ahead and paint over this. I'm gonna tape this shaft off. This is kind of hidden, so uh, I'm gonna spray it all. I know you're supposed to blend it into the panel. We're gonna try and blend it into the, um, kind of where the flare would sit. Hopefully, it'll all look like it belongs. come over to our organized paint shelf uh, we're gonna need the Chevy 1 the Chevy 2 and we'll definitely need clear coat but uh, not right now Guys, so it's time to mix the clear coat up. We've got our strut here looking super sharp. We got the body panel over here. Um, honestly, the color now does match with the second coat on there, so we'll put the clear on there. We'll wet sand it, buff it, blend it in. Hopefully, it all looks good and does not stick out like a sore thumb. I'm hoping the mix is quite right, and I put enough coats here and there and did everything right. So, hoping that's okay. And if this was crazy enough today, tomorrow's going to be absolutely nuts. All of these hooks will be filled with different suspension components. I can't believe this and the shipper is gonna come get my Tahoe and my truck. I need to detail the truck, detail the Tahoe. Do so, I, I, this is just gonna be absolutely nuts here. Let's clear on the gun and finish up for tonight. <laughs> So guys, a couple coats of clear later, our shock looks absolutely incredible here. It's gonna look gnarly with our strut put back together. We're gonna do that in the morning when it all, you know, is dry and hardened. I don't gotta worry about, you know, I can grab it and stuff. So uh, that's gonna look so, so good. So honestly hoping that my lift kit comes at, it's coming between nine and two tomorrow. You guys will see everything Sunday the mess that's about to happen. The clear and stuff usually hardens within, I don't know, like an hour or so. It should be pretty good. So I'm just, I, I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna be something. Um, this over here, our fenders look super good. Uh, clear lays great. Uh, I'm just gonna have to wet sand it a little, no biggie. Uh, some peel, not much. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for today's video. I apologize for it being so late and I apologize for, being it, for it being so long. Been a crazy 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 day it's gonna be a crazy next couple days um it's gonna be nice to sit in daytona sit back kick back relax um enjoy it and um other stuff like that but till then guys this is gonna be absolutely crazy tomorrow 
If you enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get on there, click subscribe. Take care, and I can't wait to see you guys on Sunday to show you guys our finished Tahoe. I still want to do other stuff, but Daytona finished.